So I'm excited to share with you our new counterbalance truck. This is an exciting new product that we have to offer for electric trucks. This truck here is a 36 volt truck. It comes in 3,000, 3,500, and 4,000 pound capacity. Again, this has like our other products, uh, Curtis controller system in it. So it's IP rated 65. You can take it in freezers, use it in the cooling on the loading docks. It's a very exciting new product. And I hope you'll see with uh, the featured benefits I'm about to show you why we're expecting to be the leader in this, this market. So we're gonna start with the front end on this truck. Again, the, like our three wheel truck, this uses the same style mast on it. It has, it's all Doosan built. We have two stage, two stage with free lift and this is the three-stage mast or the triplex mast, wide view mast, so you have excellent visibility both through the mast and you can see where the operator stands. You have great visibility around the mast also. This is all Doosan built. The carriage and the side shifters are also all Doosan built. Side shifter, hang on, integral, and it also has uh, six carriage rollers on the carriage system. Very strong mass, very durable, and very stable. That's the most important thing when you're looking for a stand-up product. One of the things that will really set this truck apart from the competition, and you'll notice right away, is we use an 18-inch drive wheel on our truck. So that is important because these trucks go in and out of trailers. And when you have that taller tire, it, you get better wear life out of your tire, which saves you money. And it also lowers the wear and tear on the operators with that taller tire going in and out and over dock plates and rough surfaces. So it's a great, simple feature that operators really love. Another safety feature is, and it's standard on our trucks, is the battery retaining gate. So to change this battery, you slide it out the side but this gate here is, is, holds the battery in, but it's also interlocked to the electronics of the truck. If the gate is not installed properly or missing, if you try to move the truck, it'll sound an alarm and it won't travel and it gives you a, an error code on the display telling you the gate it needs to be installed properly. So great safety feature, keep the battery retained in the truck where it's supposed to be uh, after battery changes. Other standard features on our truck are really good for comfortability of the operator and lowering the cost of ownership is we use dual steer tires, just like on the three wheel sit down truck. So when you turn that wheel, it's the same thing. Instead of having a single steer tire that's planted into the ground and grinding whenever you turn and you're not moving, this steer tire is will actually rotate the steer tires will as they turn which lowers the wear on the tires another another thing is the the high backrest so we've been getting high marks from operators who've been using this truck because it's so comfortable not having the, the real low backrest that doesn't it only supports you into the middle of your back and this comes in higher in your back and they so far it's been well received so in the operator compartment, we have nice padding for the backrest, the front cover here that covers the steering mechanism. This is all foam padded, so it's very comfortable to rest your knees against or it protects you if you were to bump your knee against it or anything like that. Nice low step height, real easy in and out of the truck. And of course, you gotta have a spring-loaded floorboard. So you can see stepping in is very easy. The, the floorboard itself has spring-loaded uh, pivots. So, and it's really important because this truck does go in and out of trailers. It's very common for it to go in and out of trailers over dock plates. So that cushions that shock of going over dock plates. We have a presence pedal that's located in a very comfortable position. And it allows the operator to have what I call posture relief. 
right? So it's only one presence pedal. You have to be on it for the truck to operate. So I can, I can stand on it with my toe. I can stand on it with my heel. I can lean against the padded backrest and hip rest here. So lots of posture relief. So if you're on it a long, long time, you can move your feet around and keep your legs fresh. So also in the operator's compartment, the, the top cover gives you plenty of surface to use for, you know, when you're pulling loads and, and carrying paperwork, you got your clip holder, cup holder. So big area to keep paperwork. Dash panels, the same as on all of our electric products, the adjustability and the handle itself is actually the same handle that we use on the reach truck and it operates the exact same way. Very easy to use. You rotate it forward and back to travel forward and back. This thumb switch right here up raises and lowers the forks. This joystick right here that you use with your thumb forward and back and front that's your tilt and then side shift. Very very simple. And then on the back side of this handle, which you would, you would actually lay your finger in a groove and you push with this portion of your hand to honk the horn. So, so it's really easy to operate. And, uh, and then you can see these two red buttons underneath. That, was, that would be if you had fourth function, then that would be your fourth function underneath here. So. One of the other things about uh, the comfortability of operating our trucks is this nice foam armrest. This thing is adjustable for the operator for height wise and I'll demonstrate it as I'm sitting in the truck but uh, for this purpose I want you to see how it works. This button right here actually releases a gas cylinder so you don't have to push in hard if you just push in the, the button here see how the armrest starts to raise on its own it's releasing a gas cylinder so you can raise it in just however height that's comfortable for you then you just stop so if you need to lower the armrest it's it's a very simple process you just push in on the same button and then you just put weight on the armrest and push it back down so push in the button comes up you want it to go back down, you just put weight on it and push it back down. Simple but smart is what it is to use and it's very comfortable. So if you've watched any of the other videos on the sit down counterbalance or the three wheel electric, the four wheeler and three wheeler, you'll recognize this dash. It's identical to the other trucks, it has the ESH button. So you press it, you can go economy, standard, high performance mode has your battery discharge, your speed, automatic parking brake. So again, if I step on the presence pedal so the truck knows that I'm in the operator's compartment and I give it any input for travel, you can see the parking brake turns off and comes back on automatically. You can, hopefully you can hear the clicking noise, but again, just click back on. The other thing is, what's key is the, the steering angle sensor. So again, if you, if you look and you can see I'm turning to the right and it shows that the truck's turned to the right, turn to the left, I'm back to center, so I'm straight forward, turn to the left. So it's, it's really important. You get into a tight area, you can't remember how many turns that you turn to get into a, a tight area and you need to know where your steering is so that you can back straight out without hitting somebody or something you can just look on the dash and it'll tell you exactly where your wheel is pointed so that you can back out safely the steering tiller itself it's nice and small has a spinner knob on it so it's in a very comfortable position so I can it's offset to the back so that I can turn very comfortably, very easily. And the thing about this too, it's very simple to, to change this to, if you prefer reverse steering, then it's very simple change, uh, hydraulic hose change. Uh, 
on the connections behind this cover and you can make it reverse steering. This is set up for forward steering right now. So it's very simple. It doesn't use a uh, electric motor and chain to turn the, the steering. It uses actually a, a mini rack and pinion. It's all hydraulic. So very durable, very long lasting, strong and dependable. Yeah.